All right, I want to go back to our breaking news out of McMinnville where there's a toxic situation sparked by a fire at a creamery forcing people out of their homes. And so here's what we know about the situation. This fire broke out at the Organic Valley Creamery, which is on Northeast Highway 99W near Northeast Evans Street. We did show you a map earlier of that area impacted by this. Uh, police say that they are evacuating people because of ammonia, and those who live within a half mile are being sent to West Wortman Park off Lafayette Avenue. Uh, Debbie McDermott is joining us on the phone right now with I assume McMinnville fire correct me if I'm wrong what is the current situation right now um, currently we are at a three alarm fire here in McMinnville we have evacuated um, I heard some of that correctly it's a quarter mile from the site um, which which has an evacuation in the wind flow direction and then from a quarter of a mile to half a mile we are asking um, folks to kind of be prepared if we need to evacuate further if they're needed, if they don't have anywhere to go, they can go to West um, East Wortman, excuse me, East Wortman Park on McDaniel Road, and kind of hang out there. And we have um, some folks there with some water and supplies like that. And there's obviously shade and restrooms there. Um, at this time, we have about 70 to 80 firefighters on scene from many agencies, including um, obviously McDindo, Amity, West Valley, Dayton, Dundee. Yam Hill, Lafayette, um, Twalton Valley, and Salem fires are here assisting us with the situation. Debbie, can you also talk about how concerned you are about how we've had these dry conditions right now? So that's another reason why you're also working so quickly right now to get this out. Right. So we have, obviously, we're having really high dry, uh, dry conditions and high weather for April. Also, we've been having a lot of wind pickup, which can add to wildland fires. So that's why you'll see the burn bans in place for many counties around our area. And we obviously have wind today, which is a little more concerned if we do have an ammonia leak. Um, that, that would drift those into the areas that we've evacuated. So again, this fire is at the Organic Valley Creamery, McMinnville. So Debbie, a little bit more about ammonia. What makes it so dangerous? Well, ammonia is it's a liquid form, so it can, it can become airborne, and then it can cause breathing difficulty if it lands on your skin. You can have eye irritation, skin irritation, things like that. It can cause you to get really dehydrated quickly. Um, so it, it can be a very toxic, and obviously in too much, it, it can be fatal as well. Um, wow. So we're, we're just being really big cautious. We haven't had anything that looks like we have a problem. But we want to make sure that we have people out of the path if needed. Is ammonia particularly explosive, or it's just the gas and it's it's how it's it's toxic to people that you're concerned about? Right, it's not explosive, but it is a it's a it's lighter than air, so it'll float, and it um, kind of displaces oxygen. If it were to get into your lungs, it's, you know you don't want to breathe that because you don't have room for the oxygen. Wow. Okay. So several issues. Okay. We're watching here. So you've got the toxic situation with the ammonia. You've also got the fire, the smoke, and we were talking about how it's dry and windy there as well. So uh, I know it's always a dangerous situation for the firefighters, but especially today. So uh, Debbie McDermott, Fire Assistant Chief with McMinnville Fire, thank you so much for your time. And uh, we hope that this will be a safe situation sooner than later.